through the progression of the PEC-DB headphone blind target curve AB shootout tests, it has become increasingly evident that Critical and the Squiggling fanboys should be banned from audio immediately. We updated the loudest normalization procedure last night, so these rankings are highly volatile, but one thing that has been very consistent through all of our testing has been the IEF preference 2025 target, Critical's latest in-ear target, being the worst scoring target out of all of these targets, as well as the Keymar KV50XX with the, 10, with the minus 10 dB tilt being the worst performing over your target. And in the case of in-ears, the JM1 with the minus 10 dB tilt is the second worst performing target so far tied with the Rice target, but this will likely evolve as more people take the test. Regardless, the Crinier meta and all of this new stuff that you know sold out super fast is complying with the IEF preference 2025 target. And I said from the beginning, these targets are really terrible. And it, it's quite frankly ridiculous how someone who can promote such a terrible target is being taken seriously. So for that reason, we need to ban Critical from audio. And it's really just quite laughable how poorly Critical's random earphone targets are performing and also goes to show how BS these BNK5128 head cannons are where you can just take the measurement from the 5128 compared to the 711 then just randomly come up with this compensation curve and it's clearly showing that people don't actually prefer these and Hi-Fi Endgame's target was doing poorly before but with the new loudness normalization, it seems to be doing really good. It's actually slightly ahead of the PEC dB targets, even though um, this is within one standard deviation. As of now, um, the standard deviation will decrease as more people take the test and we get more <laughs> significant results. But yeah, his target seems to be doing pretty well. You can see this is how the nor loudness normalization looked before. Um, it was such that the, or with the over-ear test at least, it was such that the no-brought target was so much quieter than the rest of the curves, and this was why it was rated lower before. And now we're using um, a filter from Alternative Weighting Filters for Multi-Track Program Loudness Material, and it's the first filter provided by Fenton and Lee, and the loudest normalization seems to be much better, with most of the targets being pretty close to loudness, and the PEC DB over ear and no route targets being a little bit um, lower at loudness, which I guess makes sense since they have more bass and treble, but it's much better than how it was before with the loudness being completely different for most of these targets. And from listener evaluation so far, they seem to find the loudness to be much better between um, these targets. So yeah, definitely take the test again. And yeah, Critical needs to be banned from audio. Um, and all these people who claim that these random targets are good, they're not. Um, the best target curves are clearly demonstrated in the PEC-DB target curve shootout.